I took the time to install something that we've had now for a couple weeks. Hey everyone, so glad that you are watching today. Uh, today is a beautiful day here in Sevierville, Tennessee. Uh, Chris and I are currently staying at the Ridge Outdoor Resort in Sevierville. It's one of our favorite places to come to and camp. And while we're here, um, I took the time to install something that we've had now for a couple weeks. And that is the LPG Tank Monitor System by Mopeka. This is something that we invested in after maybe many of you saw the video called The Big Mistake. Um, so this is fixing the big mistake uh, so that we don't run out of hot water again like we did. Now we did have some suggestions from many of you that said something like, well, just do one tank at a time so that you always have one that you can open up. That's a great idea. And I'm sure many of you do that. Um, however, when we did our research, we found this by Mopeka, which we showed this on our last video. And so today we took the time to install it and just thought we'd give you a heads up and show you how we installed it and, uh, and what we liked about it. So when you open it up in the package, you will get a monitor if you chose to, to get the monitor. We wanted the monitor so that we could mount it inside the fifth wheel. However, you don't need the monitor. You can just use the app that comes on your cell phone too. So I started by downloading the app on my phone, which was quick and painless and pretty easy. And then inside the context, you'll get your monitor, you'll get two sensors, and then you'll get your cleats or your, your little feet pegs that go on the bottom of the tank. Now I said in the last video it's important to have those little pegs at the bottom of your tanks so that way it assures you that when those sensors go up they're magnetic and when they stick to the bottom of your tank um, that they, they will stay there and that those feet will lift it up about, oh, I don't know, about a quarter of an inch or so off of where your tanks are mounted in your RV. Now they use an RF sensor wirelessly um, that's that's really accurate and when I instantly connected it I mean instantly it gave me percentage levels um, which you can set inside the app um, it, it instantly started speaking to it so it, I was pleasantly surprised to see that so um, I really like it and here's I just walk you through the steps um, it's fairly painless and quick to install but what you do is you have the sensors and you open up your app and you have your, your app open, make sure your Bluetooth is turned on, and then you press rapidly five to 10 times on the sensor until you see it come up in the app in your phone. Um, and I did that right away and it came up right away. So after you do that, you go into settings and then you can name the tank, which is important so that you know, and I just did tank one and tank two. And then in there, you can also go down and do the weight of or how big your LP tank is, so 20, 30, 40, etc. So then after I did that step, I did it again with the second sensor, same thing, rapidly press it on there five to 10 times, it came up on the app, and I named that app, or that tank, sorry, tank two. So now I got tank one and tank two, it was that easy. And then uh, it comes with like this Vaseline kind of a substance that you put on the rubber sensor, and, and I'm sure that's just so that it keeps it clean and gets a good contact because I'm sure it'll get dusty you know riding inside the RV as you're going down the road at some point so I'm sure that keeps that that rubber sensor uh, clean on the bottom so you just want to dab a little bit on there and rub it around which is um, what I did when I installed it the trickier thing and it's not even that tricky is if you have the monitor uh, to get it to speak to the sensors that's your next step so obviously that doesn't require the phone it's just the monitor you hold it in your hand and you're gonna kind of repeat the same steps that you did with the sensors on on your phone app so you're gonna have them on your I had them on my tanks when I did it so I just press them rapidly five to ten times while you're holding down on the monitor button and it'll blink five times on there and then you let go and you push it and it read it right away uh, on both of them and then you repeat the same process um, on your monitor you have one and two and you do the same process there and both of them synced up instantaneously Okay guys, we got it installed here in our command center in the fifth wheel. And I just want to point out again that we opted to use command strips on the back versus drilling holes through the wall or into the wall here I should say. 
Um, it does come with the two screws. We still have them. We're, we're going to try that. If, if for some reason that ends up, you know, not working after a while, we'll probably definitely use the screws that came with it. Uh, so I just want to show you how it works, how the monitor works. It's really easy. Uh, for tank one, you press the button. It'll search for a little bit and it's reading the sensor and then it tells you exactly where you're at, which I know that that's right because I know that that's not a full tank over there on tank one. After a little while, uh, the lights go out and obviously that's going to help save battery time as well. So that one's good. You come over here, you want to check tank two, press the button, it'll search for a little bit. And when it does come up, it should say that it's full. Yep, because I know that that is full on that side. So we really like it so far. It's a great system. It's easy to use. It's easy to install, which everybody likes that. And the best part of all is it saves all of us time, takes the guesswork out of it. I'm so glad we got it and I'm excited to use it in the future so that we will know now whether we use the app or if we press on the inside, um, we will know where our LP gas is at. So awesome. Thanks for tuning in.